We're loving and hating and making scenes Now we just see everything we believe We just see Hello, what's going on YouTube fam? This is your boy J Money here, and it's about time. Finally, World Chalice, the moment you've all been waiting for. Part 4, Unbreakable Boards. Even more consistent than the left arm in the Soul Charge shenanigans. Um, Wink Condition is uh, now going to be this ferret. Um, it may sound silly, but I have come up with a combo to where if you resolve that ferret, you will not only be able to put up Boral Savage Dragon and the Tree Beast, but you can also put Archer Christie on the board. All three of these guaranteed if you resolve Rescue Ferret. And this is even better than the Christia Trigate Gamma Steel locks because you have infinite spell negates. Uh, you can't special summon and you have the Boral Savage for the random trap cards like infinite and permanence and things to that matter. So with that being said, um, you're you're only going to be able to uh, get that off if you don't have access to Brilliant Fusion by the time you resolve that ferret. So hopefully, um, you know, with the hand I may get, you may be able to see exactly what I'm talking about. Oh man, uh oh, I'm at work, guys. So if I get interrupted, I am sorry. Anyway, so I always choose to shuffle and cut, you know, just to prove how consistent, you know, this deck is because for some reason, some people still don't believe the deck is consistent. And yeah, Burly Fusion's at one, but, um, you know, what I got going, it doesn't matter. And you're about to see in just a second if I, you know, if I actually open what I need to open, well, then you'll see the magic. So. With that being said, enough of the talk. Let's get started with the combo. All right, let's do this. We don't want to resolve Scorpio. We d that's something we don't want to go into. Okay, we don't have to go into, and we got Rescue Fair. Okay, that's, that's real good. All right, we Gucci. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna activate um, Waterfront, immediately start off with the Unexpected Die, immediately. Um, all right So what do I want to summon with the unexpected die I have two targets I will summon back in. All right So we got this we need to be able to make like a link two or higher of some kind So you can actually have something to equip the Boral Savage Dragon um, Sorry about that, I have to get the dice. So there we go, we got Waterfront at one counter because Unexpected Die just hit the grave. Normal Summon the Venus, activate effect, pay 1500, of course, of course. All right, where's all the shiny balls? Bam, bam, bam. I should probably play Rescue Rescue because if I'm actually able to, res you know, actually get to the point to where I can resolve a rescue fair, I probably ended up, you know, paying some sort of points, whether it be taking a thousand from Trick Clown or whatever. So here we go. You you know how the start of this combo goes already. So I'm not gonna take too much of your time. There's three. And then we're gonna go affect the waterfront to search. This is just for combo uh, purposes. Remember um, you wanna search uh, with Waterfront on four counters and not three. So, yeah, keep that in mind. Always, always, always keep that in mind. All right. So, what we're going to do is, I think we're going to link everything else that's not the M-Duck. In case we draw that World Legacy, we can keep it there. So, we're going to go and make our Skull Deep now. All right. And we're going to go one, two, three... And four, let's see. Um, it honestly doesn't matter if we resolve Ningirsu or not, so we're definitely gonna put this in because we definitely do not want to see that. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, okay. All right, we don't necessarily need the Trick Clown. Uh, but at the same time, I think we need something to discard. 
Uh, let's see. Mmm. So I go into a Link 2. I don't need to draw any cards, so if I go Skull Deed Special, make Link 2, Trick Clown Special. Wait, but at that point I'm just wasting a Gamma Seal. Alright, so. This is for sure. Yeah, let's do these. Alright. Uh, effect of uh, Sir Yuja, we're gonna go in Special Summon. Uh, let's see. Activate. I don't think we want to even use Trick Clown if I'm being honest. Because I want to show you guys exactly. Yeah. I don't think we're gonna resolve Trick Clown. I mean, we can, but we don't need to. We may just keep the M-Duck on the board, too, actually, if I'm being honest. Alright. So Darling Cobra is going to get its effect now, and we are going to go ahead and search. Wait, well, no, we're not going to search. That's what we're not going to do. So we're going to go Trick Clown, we're going to Special, and we're going to take a thousand. And we're going to make that second Saryuja. Now, we still haven't gotten that second Normal Summon either. Keep that in mind. So, um, now with this, we're going to go ahead... And um, I think we drew, so we're gonna go ahead and shuffle up and cut. Uh, yeah. All right. Now, okay, we got an extender. That's perfect, honestly. Probably should have discarded the gamma seal, but you know, whatever. We still honestly don't need it. Uh, let's see, shade brigade, whatever. See, so in this combo, you want to have a world chalice monster in your hand to ensure that this succeeds uh, fully, but as you can see in this situation, we don't have one in hand, but it still does not matter. And I'll show you why. So we're gonna summon Ferret off of Saryuja, and we're gonna go ahead, and we're gonna summon out three monsters, a total level six, we're gonna summon Globe Bulb, Steam the Cloak, and our handy dandy, Synchro Fusionist, there we go. This is how, you know, Brain Fusion getting limited does not matter at all. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go in Synchro into our level 5. It is not going to be TG Hyper for Librarian. It's actually going to be Blackwing Ram the Shining Star. I was playing TG Librarian and Formula and Doppel Warrior for tokens to draw cards and make Boral Savage. But the problem here is I really needed the extra deck space. So... Um, you're just going to sink into this with Steam the Cloak. And um, essentially what this just allows you to do is um, it, it allows you to free up an extra deck slot. Because with Steam the Cloak, if you use this effect to revive um, itself from the grave, you can only synchro with Blackwing monsters. So, that being said, we're going to go ahead and um, not only are we going to use Steam the Cloak's effect... Uh, to summon a token, but we, oh, oh no, right here, but we are also going to go ahead and search a, um, uh, a fusion spell, because when Synchro Fusionist is sent to the grave via Synchro Summon, you can add a fusion spell, and that's really good. So now what we're going to do is we're going to tribute the Glow Bulb for Steam the Cloak, and we're going to go ahead and Synchro into 8. Into that Oral Savage... Boral Savage's effect activates and so is it will see the cloak. Uh, putting up another token onto the field. Alright, and we're going to put the Steam the Cloak token uh, here. It, it honestly doesn't matter. And Boral Savage is going to equip. Alright, now that ooh, shoot. now that you've established the Boral Savage, you are now going to activate the Brilliant Fusion. And this is precisely why this doesn't matter, um, because um, the uh, Chalice Monster part, you need to have one in hand to resolve this, but, you know, it's going to happen anyway. Ooh, we don't have access to Guard Dragon, do we? Okay, that might be an issue. We'll see. Uh, so we're going to send Christia, and we're going to send Lazuli. Yeah, normally this will work because you would have a World Chalice Guard Dragon um, in your graveyard to banish to summon another monster to 
essentially just revive. So we're gonna go ahead and do all this, and we're gonna summon Seraph Knight. Lazuli effect is going to grab Beckon. Actually, we actually might still have this, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna link up the Seraph Knight and the token, and we're gonna make an ebb. Now we're going to link off the token and the Saruja into another ib. This is why we need the second ib, because if we did not have this imduck here, we need to make an orum for this entire combo to work. Okay, and we have succession in hand too, so it's not an issue, but again, if I had Lee, I could just discard the Gamma Seal and like reborn it right then and there, and we would have Gamma Seal with Christia. So we're gonna go ahead and now we got Orum. Orum's on the board. Now we're gonna use uh, Ibs Effect to special summon a Chalice Monster from the hand. We're gonna go ahead and summon that Beckon. Now we're gonna use Bulb's Effect from the graveyard. Mill card. Damn it, it's not Lee. That would've been awesome. Uh, special. And we're gonna Synchro for five since Beckon and Global Bert are both Earths. We can summon our Naturia Beast. And since we now have a Chalice Monster in the zone, we can use Orb's Effect, we can tribute that Ib to revive that Archlord Christia. Again, I've said it before, if you resolve Rescue Ferret, this is guaranteed. This is guaranteed. If you have any other extender, you, you will essentially have this on the board as well. You know, if that makes any sense. Um, Normally you would resolve your World Legacy, World Chalice, whatever. Um, I don't even think I got my second Normal Summon. I probably should have just tributed to the Normal Summon this Gamma Seal. If I'm really being honest, but then again I don't know if I would have been able to have the rest of this. But anyway, yeah, that is the combo tutorial for this. So, this is how this is guaranteed. When you resolve Ferret, you're not only going to have the bowl, but realistically you should already have access to this resolving a World Legacy World Chalice uh, out of nowhere. So you already have your Nap Beast play set up, and Steam the Cloak plus this is already going to give you Seraphonite and a Boral Savage. And Brilliant Fusion is going to send this. You make two Ibs, you make an Aurum, you summon the Chalice Monster from your hand, you make your Nap Beast, and then you reborn the Christia, that's how this works. Um, but you do need to be careful though. Because I specifically tributed Glow Bulb for Steam the Cloak earlier in the combo uh, for a specific reason. Because had I attributed the token for Steam the Cloak, I wouldn't have been able to make double imps. Because it, it would have been this, plus Raphonite, plus Saryuja. All three of them are Earth monsters. And this, of course, takes two monsters of different types and attributes. So that's something you really have to be careful about. So anyway, I hope you guys learned something from this combo. Um, again, this, this deck did not go anywhere. If you resolve fair, you win the game. Uh, period, point blank. Um, let me know what you guys' thoughts are in the comments below. I may have a deck profile a little bit later on down the road. We'll have to wait and see. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. This is Jay Money, and I am signing. Always dance through the highways, and the